Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here today. Today we're gonna hit a really heavy topic. Um, heavy as in, what do you do? What do you do? It's such a change. So it's dry skin, dry skin everywhere, dry skin. So I'm gonna go over what I do currently, what I find that works so far, um, because things change all the time, right? Different treatments, different medications. You just don't know what's gonna happen the next day. So, so far, um, this is what I do. I found this great. Um, Aveeno has come out with the restorative skin therapy. Um, specifically, this is a body wash specifically for um, people with really dry skin going through cancer treatments. So I find it really nice and uh, non-drying on the skin. It's the best one I've found so far. Um, and all the ones that say moisturizing, they last about a hot minute and then that's it. Once you get out of the shower, that's it. Um, the one thing about this, it may not, it doesn't suds up that much and you may need a different body wash for those other bits that get a little more stinky, a little more sweaty. So you might have, I'm finding that I might need that, especially as it gets warmer out. So that's what I start with. This is the Aveeno Restorative Skin Therapy. Then sometimes after body wash, this is really great. This is Jergens Weightless Wet, Wet Skin Moisturizer. Um, I think it's like a coconut scent or something. Don't really smell anything, can't smell much. But this is really nice. It's like a creamy oil. And after you rinse off, you're in this shower still, you spray, the, you, you squeeze some of this into your hands, rub it all over your body, and then dry yourself. And it does last uh, maybe a hot minute, an hour or so afterward. I usually find that I might need a moisturizer after this. Um, it doesn't quite do the job, but it's really great. I know what I did. I also will do sometimes a coffee scrub, which I forgot to bring down, but a coffee scrub, um, some kind of physical scrub. One thing you're not supposed to do, it's mostly for face. I think body scrubs are fine. Check with your doctor, check with your clinic team, um, check online for other resources, but I do use like a coffee scrub on my body. Um, it gets rid of the flakies and some of the dryness, and then I go in with this and then when I get out of the shower I will use some kind of moisturizer. I haven't found a great one yet that actually lasts a day. Um, there's an Aveeno one that I've been trying out so I'll let you know how that goes. For my head, um, I just saw a video on like medieval hair care and they were talking about how much gunk they would comb and get the gunk out of the scalp. And I'm like my scalp is bare all the time. Like how much gunk is collecting there, right? I don't have any hair but my scalp gets dry too. So um, I had a little sample of the Amica Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo and I used that up and I really liked it. It's really, you just need a drop if you don't have much hair. If you have hair you can use it too, absolutely. You just need a little bit more, you know, to kind of work it down the ends. But I just need about a drop just to scrub it on my head. I don't wash my head or my body more than three times a week just because of the drying nature of it. Um, I can go a day and just keep putting moisturizer on and I'm fine. Um, that again, that might change as we I start to sweat more and stuff during the summer. We'll see. Not sure how my body will react to the heat, but I really am enjoying this. Um, I feel like it's getting the dryness off, makes the scalp looks healthy, feels healthy, and is healthier. And then I go in with just baby shampoo, just a drop of baby shampoo. Um, I've tried regular shampoos, they're just kind of drying. But the baby shampoo is um, just perfect and it rinses out really nice and yeah, pretty inexpensive. So then I get out of the shower, that's cut some body and some hair. Um, again, please forgive the eye dripping, um, the weeping. It is not tears of sadness or joy. It is just leaky eyes and that's just part of it. I'll probably be saying it from here on out. So I get out of the shower and what I do wash my face with inside the shower and out is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. It is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. If I'm doing wearing makeup, what I'll do is I'll do my, um, I'll use this Hada Labo Oil Cleansing, Oil Cleanser. I get this at Amazon or Yes Style, depends um, how long I want to wait for it and how much I want to spend. But I use this to, as in my double cleanse, I use this to remove makeup and then I go in with the hydrating cleanser to kind of clean everything else up. Works great, leaves my skin super soft and lovely. 
Then, okay, so we have hyaluronic acid. Okay, let's let's back up. So skincare for the face. I used to use tretinoin, I use lactic acid, ABAs, HBAs, all that. Um, you can't really use them or use, you're not supposed to use those or a physical exfoliant on your face. I don't know, just because it's dry, it's tender, it depends on your face, I guess. Some people, you know, might get rashes, um, it's extra sensitive, I'm not sure, I just like have been very wary of doing that. Um, but I do use a lot of hyaluronic acid. So what I do is I get out of the shower or in the morning when I just wash my face. Depends on, I only do this maybe, again, once a week maybe. It's called Curel, and I'll have a thing for it here in a second. Um, and it's just like, an ex like you just put it, this gel on your face and then you just let it sit for like 30 seconds or a minute and then you just rub it off and it peels up and then your skin is nice and smooth. So it's, it's a very gentle, Peel. I don't notice it. I'm not sure quite what's in it. I haven't reread the directions since I bought it a long time ago. So that's what I'll do to try and exfoliate some of these drier areas. Um, you you just need an exfoliator when you have dry skin, and so it's so hard not to have one. Cure. I'm sorry, not Curel. It's Cure Natural Aqua Gel, and I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. But this is what you use, and it just everything just comes right off. It looks like. It's, an, it's some sort of Asian brand. I'm not sure if it's Korean or Japanese. I'm not sure. But it works pretty good. It's very gentle. Um, sometimes I use the Ordinary's purple, oh, what is it? The acid, the purple one. Um, mine's a little dead because it doesn't tingle at all or anything. It still works. Um, I still feel like I get exfoliation, which is probably gentle for my skin because it's a little not very potent. So I might just buy a new one of those and we'll see. But again, a little tentative on, on using something that strong. So this one I really do enjoy. So after that, I will spray either the Indie Lee COQ Toner, COQ10, COQ Tenor, toner or the rose water and glycerin I do love this I just as a refresher all day it has glycerin and rose water and that's it and the glycerin is kind of like hyaluronic acid it's a uh, humectant so I think that's what it is um, it works great it works great so the thing is about hyaluronic acid it needs moisture and if your skin's totally dry putting on I live in a dry climate, so if I lived in a humid climate, that would be great because it would pull from the air. Here there's nothing to pull from, so it's going to pull from my skin, all that moisture. So I like to put something on that's liquidy, some kind of spray, so it dampens my skin so that the hyaluronic acid has something to pull from. So, And then I might add this um, during the day sometimes when I feel like a little fresher up, something like that to give the hyaluronic acid something. So what I'll do is I'll put, let me get all my little goodies out. So I will use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid and Niacinamide. And I'll just put a couple drops on my hand, put it all over my face when it's still damp with one of my sprays. Then I will put this lactic acid. I do have this. Um, it does. It seems to be a little drying. It shouldn't be. I might consider getting some glycolic. It's always more moisturizing. But again, I'm only using this like twice a week so it's not that often so I thought it wouldn't hurt it hasn't done anything yet so we'll see how that goes and then after I put that on for my head I put the ordinary 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil and this is a nice decent weight oil absorbs right into my scalp it gives it some moisture without being greasy and yucky um, I've tried a couple different oils and this one seems to be the best for me right now. I have some grapeseed oil, I think in my room, in my bathroom, I might try that on occasion when this is done, but I got like a whole bottle of this. So, and I only use like two drops for my whole head. So then for my face, sometimes depending on the, um, this is a generic brand of the Neutrogena. It's water, this is water gel, hydrating, up and up, hydrating with hyaluronic acid it's like I do like a first moisturizer this is like very gel lightweight um, 
water based. It's it's really I don't know if you can see that. It's really wet and moisturizing and it feels really good. So I'll use that sometimes. I've noticed uh, it works good. I was using CeraVe lotion on top of that and now I went in uh, with the Sephora sale and I bought Kiehl's. I bought the Kiehl's um, Ultra Facial Cream because I do like the avocado eye cream and that's nice and smooth. I was noting a little bit of tackiness, a little bit of breakout so I, I stopped using the um, a little bit of peeling, that's what it was. So I stopped using the one underneath just to see if I could, maybe these two just weren't mixing well together and I was getting a little peeling. So we'll see how that experiment works out. For my eyes, I used the Belief. I had a sample of this and I just loved it. So this is my first moisturizer. Again, it has that watery texture. Even though it's a white cream, it has um, a really nice watery light kind of cream. It's not too heavy. Goes on really nice. And then I do top that off with the Kiehl's Avocado Moisturizing. So I let that set in. I let everything set in a little bit except for the water sprays. Like these liquid sprays, I don't let them sit in very long because I want that to be captured. And then here's just a tad. Goes right over it. That avocado, I warm it up between my fingers and put that right under my eyes and over my eyes. And then let that sit in there. And then finally for my neck, I, you remember I was talking um, in my past video about my neck and trying to cover up the redness. Um, I bought Dr. Jart's Sika Pear. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's green. It's a green calming. I don't want to take the thing off. It's real goopy, but it's a nice, decent moisture content and feel very decent I can't smell anything so I can't give you a smell but it covers up gr the green really does help and I use this as moisturizer on my neck um, sorry about that my camera died so now we're on my phone just so I can get it done okay we're almost finished here we're almost done so green green on my neck trying to calm that neck down um, then put makeup on and I also did talk about putting on um, like another makeup from Becca the color corrector on my neck too so we'll see how that goes last thing I put on my face oops didn't have it handy is the Ulta MD UV physical broad spectrum SPF 41 and it's tinted I don't like it um, I bought this off of um, in the recommendation from the recommendation of Angie from Hot and Flashy, it's one of her faves. Another one that she recommended when I first caught her video was um, the Pacifica. Their sunscreen that's tinted. Now they call it a BB cream. Um, I don't have one because I've used it up. I will pop maybe a picture up here if I can. Maybe can't. I don't know. I think I'm going to repurchase that. It's cheaper. And I like the way it goes on better. And it does come in three colors now. I think this one only comes in like one color. But it's a good color. It's lighter. Um, see if I can't show you. It's a little peachy. But it goes on pretty smoothly. Um, I don't know if the lighting is getting a little bad in here. But yeah, it goes on really nice and stuff. Um, it works great under makeup completely works under makeup. I just think I prefer the other one more, so we're gonna go with that. So that is all my skincare currently so far, because again, um, when you're in treatments and things, stuff changes, it changes all the time. Thanks again for joining me today in this skincare adventure. I really appreciate it. Please put any recommendations you have. If I'm doing something wrong or should I add something? What do you think about ex physical exfoliants and chemical exfoliants on the face um, or even on the body during um, during getting treatments? Uh, specifically, chemo seems to be doing the, the most damage on my skin. Um, let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that um, you'll be notified when I put up a new video. And there's also that if you really want to be notified, uh, it'll pop up right when the video hits is the bell. Hit the little bell and it'll put up a little reminder for you and let notification let you know. 
Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if it was helpful, um, if it gave you some information about what other people are doing. I'm here to look for information too, so I want to hear from you. So don't forget to just like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you next time. Have a good, uh, have a good week. Bye.